Hey everybody, I'm Andy Cohen. Welcome to the Married to Medicine Season 10 Reunion. Ladies, tonight we're gonna be breaking down a provocative and explosive season in this lovely Napa-themed vineyard. Inspired, Toya, by your girl's trip to wine country. <laughs> Welcome, ladies. Dr. Jackie, great to see you. Thank you. Did you get any words of wisdom from Madam Vice President? Oh, absolutely. She said, be a part of the change you wanna see. All right. Dr. Heavenly, you look lovely tonight. Thank you. Does Laura ever give you any advice to bridge the generation gap between you and Sweet Tea? <laughs> I think that now, Laura is the same age as Sweet Tea about. <laughs> so, Wait, what? Really? Is Sweet yeah, Tea yeah, college? Really? Mentally. Mentally. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, okay. Dr. Simone, great to see you. Always a blessing to see you. Always my blessing. <laughs> Hi, Toya. After tonight, are we going to be needing a robust red or back to the tequila? Both. Okay. Actually, yes. Hi, Phaedra. Welcome to your first Married to Medicine reunion. Yes. Well, I'm excited. And I'm glad we were able to fit your train in. Uh, I'm in full bloom. Yes, you are. Uh, sweet tea, will you be sipping it or spilling it tonight? Spilling it. Oh, really? <laughs> I'm probably spilling it. Yeah, right. I got a lot to get off my chest. Miss Quad, Miss Quad, will tonight be your second resurrection? I'm hoping so, honey, because the people did try to put me in a grave, but I'm here today. Well, you popped out of that casket real good. I did, didn't I? <laughs> yes. Yeah. You know, I noticed in my room, little mini poster appeared with some inspirational quotes <laughs> on it. Uh, I have some signage in my room. Yeah. Where did that come from? <laughs> Is that you? That was me. Was that a little heavenly troll? Yeah, I was being a troll since so she's been trolling me for months. Wow. Right, so I had to get her ass back. Okay. <laughs> Sweet tea, uh, did you distribute those to the ladies and myself? I did. I wanted to give Heavenly some words of affirmation. Sweet tea or, or Long Island iced tea today? Which one are we getting? Uh, I see we're getting malt liquor know. over here. Well, the important thing is for you to know you is important. <laughs> <laughs> Well, since tonight is the 10th reunion of Married to Medicine, we'll be celebrating with highlights from across all 10 seasons, all the drama, fun, and shade Whoa. from 10 years of some of the realest stuff on Bravo. Look at this gem from season three. Uh. I apologize. You just didn't move you on. You didn't apologize to me. It was I'm a thug. Why when you thug, talk about kicking awesome. somebody's ass, you were thug to me. About your ass. Yes, you did. I told you was yes. a bad mother. Everybody knows that I don't talk about anything. I do it. But let me tell you something, Toya. You, you and nobody else will put your hands on me. No, she's not gonna put her hands on me. No, I know she's not. <laughs> Well, there are many ways to describe Phaedra Parks. Bravo veteran, attorney, Reiki master, and dead body enthusiast. But some of the women in the group think Atlanta's premier mortician is quite skilled at burying the truth. Take a look. And you and Greg real cool. No, me and Greg are very cool, right. so, you know, that's how I met Quad. Well, okay, y'all dated. No, no dato, okay. no dato no, 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 injecto, none of that. I none don't that. know what happened based on what Phaedra Parks is, because Phaedra Parks don't always tell the truth. Now, I'm just going to be honest with it. The truth ain't in the bitch. Good evening. It is my pleasure to present to you Queen Mother and Ada. Thought he just came out with his dad. I really and truly believe that if he's a good father to the kids, then he should be present. Who cares about his prison record? Hey, you a messy bitch. I brought Quad to the pamper party, and that message obviously didn't hit the mark. Those who don't want it don't have to deal with it at all. I don't know if Quad knows how to humble herself. I'm disappointed. Gregor told me that you all dated, that you guys were doing good at first, and then you asked him for upward of $4,000 a month. Honey, my purse is $10,000, so what am I gonna do it for? Just saying. <laughs> All right, Phaedra, how do you compare being on Married to Medicine versus being on The Housewives of Atlanta? Uh, totally different women. We were a lot more cantankerous, and, uh -huh. and they support each other's marriage. And you know, Housewives, if you even say you 
want to separate, baby. They gonna make sure you get divorced in one, two, three. <laughs> right, right. Toya, you thought it was strange for Apollo not to come to Aiden's birthday party. Do you think Phaedra didn't want you all to meet him? I would think that at their son's birthday party, he would be present. My sons and I, I think everybody in the world, they would want both their parents there, you know? But hey, that's what she does in her household. I miss Apollo. Oh, do you? I do. <laughs> yeah, I do. Phaedra Mavis from Atlanta, Georgia, noted that you were kikiing with Quad and bringing her to Sweet Tea's bachelorette party, helping her with her resurrection event. Then suddenly you changed your flight to Napa so you didn't have to roll with her. Why didn't you get on the plane with Quad? My that baby, is like... My baby's birthday was just there. I mean, but what I does that have to do with today? Because I had to get him to take him to school, I thought my flight was for later. So it didn't have anything to do with you and Quad? No, we're fine. I had a conversation with Toya, and she said to me, me and Quad don't see eye to eye. It was Toya's event, and I didn't feel like Quad would even want to go anyway. Quad, on a recent podcast, you said Phaedra didn't call me. Instead, she told me she was at a local pharmacy to later hear that she changed her flight because she didn't want to be around me. That was devastating. Maybe she was waiting for a prescription. <laughs> well, what type of prescription is that if it's going to take you to change your flight? She said I didn't want to be on the flight with her. I felt I said, like I Phaedra go was going everybody. alone to get alone. This is what I felt. And I felt like she turned her back on me. I'm What's just telling wrong you how with I feel. going along to me Listen, and get along but with if, everybody? But, but if you... Instead of being booed up with just you. What I am saying is, it's like, I'm cool with Quad, we're cool, but when, every, when she found out everyone else probably had an issue with me, it's like, I want to be on this side of the, you know, I don't want to be, you know, messing with Quad. You know what I mean? It seems like... The big issue is that Quad feels like you ditched her in order to save yourself and your place in the group. It's not a matter of ditching her. It's a matter of why would I attach myself to the Titanic? Yeah, they... 